Good morning, you guys. I just wanted to pop in and say hello and say thank you all for so many um, awesome comments on my last video. And also to speak to some of you who so kindly reached out to me privately, just concerned about me, making sure that I was okay. I am absolutely okay. I, um, you know, when I move through things on an energetic level, I can become very emotional because it's part of my releasing process. Um, but I, it does not necessarily mean that I am, um, you know, having a difficult time. It was difficult in the sense that it was a difficult um, release for me to make. Um, I do feel like I've moved through a lot of it, as hopefully you guys have. But I wanted to make sure that, you know, you you guys didn't uh, worry that I was, you know, truly hurt or injured or in any kind of danger. I'm not. And I don't feel like the person who triggered that reaction from me had any ill intent or anything like that. I just feel like it was the perfect storm of me needing to release a very deeply seated program um, that I was holding regarding victimhood, uh, victim consciousness, that kind of thing. So I am doing great. Um, I feel like I did have a shift last night. I spoke, you know, at length with one of my spiritual coaches um, yesterday evening as well, which also assisted. And um, I'm just so grateful for all of you for caring and for being concerned and for sharing your experiences on that video. That was amazing. Um, if you don't know what I'm talking about, check out my last video uh, entitled, What is this feeling? And it's all about victim consciousness, um, rejection, and um, transforming that. So I also wanted to, oh, briefly, in the off chance that someone, anyone from that class happens to see that video, which I think is very slim, but I just want to be clear that I didn't actually expect anyone to step in and fix a situation for me. That was the feeling that came up, which I was very, um, even in the moment, knew was irrational. And I guess by mentioning that, I was trying to get to the bottom of why this was happening for me. So I just want to be very clear. Some of those people are friends with me on Facebook, and so I suppose there's the chance that they could come across my YouTube channel. But um, just to be clear about that so no one feels like, you know, they failed or I had an expectation or something like that, I don't. It was me following the feelings, the reactions, which then lead you to a deeper truth about yourself um, deep-seated programming like uh, like the victim consciousness programming which I have thankfully released another layer of um, so we'll see what that brings in the future if there's more releasing to be done on that or not in any case I also wanted to bring you guys a channeled message for today this actually came through yesterday and um, it actually came up then later in my conversation with one of my spiritual coaches, which is amazing. And it came up again this morning for me when I was, um, you know, channeling for my own benefit. And um, that is really that in moving through these difficult programs, right, and releasing them, that it's important to remember the power of awareness and just becoming aware of them. In the same way that I was just talking about how I was <clears throat> making myself aware of my feelings in the moment so that I could observe them and kind of take a step back and say, why is this happening? That awareness is so powerful and it in itself can create a shift. And so um, it's the power of the observer that I just want to bring to your attention so that you realize that you are doing this work. I'm coming in contact with a lot of people a lot of clients or just people who are interacting with me on YouTube or on Facebook or Instagram who sometimes are worried they're not doing the work, that they're not healing, they're not evolving, they're not changing, they're not ascending um, because they think they need to be doing something really specific and um, work oriented. And the truth is that there is some of that that, can, that is done, right? But so much of what we are shifting through right now is enabled simply through the power of your conscious mind observing your behavior and feeling the feelings that are there and noticing that they're uncomfortable, that 
um, there's a misalignment there. So it's noticing when we are in misalignment that allows us to shift naturally into alignment. Um, as long as we're not blocking that shift into alignment, right? And an easy way to unblock that is to simply put the intention out there that you are willing and desire to move into alignment. Um, it's not as difficult as it may seem. There's not always and frequently not at all a um, crazy, you know, uh, esoteric metaphysical sort of process that you need to go through. This is the process. What we're going through now is the process. Um, and so just seeing those things as they come up creates that shift for you. Um, so I, I wanted to bring that to your awareness to make sure you guys were giving yourself the credit that you deserve. Your higher self is fully involved in this and bringing these things to your attention when you need to see them, whether you're consciously aware that you're in contact with it or not. Um, you may be missing the cues because you're so busy looking for something that you feel might be more profound. But look in your own body. Look for the feelings that you're getting. Look for the, um, the discomfort, the, the times when you feel that you're out of alignment. And that is your symbol or your sign that you are. So just observing that opens the door to a change, okay? I hope that this is helpful. And I just want to thank all of you for liking, subscribing, sharing. I'm 25 or so away from reaching the thousand mark. Um, so please do um, subscribe if you haven't. I appreciate that so much. And um, I love you all and hope to be back with you soon. Okay, talk to you soon. Bye.